Welcome back. It's your boy Jay, aka the Murder Whistle. You look at my co-pilot, stay. Rom is under the cover. Girl goes over there. Um, what are we watching? Oh, we're watching Philadelphia. I know Philadelphia got Tom Hanks in it, and it got Denzel Washington in it. I'm kind of excited to watch it because. Just the idea of Denzel and Tom Hanks being in a movie together. It just seems pretty awesome to me. Like, when did this movie come out? 93? I just feel like that's something that should have happened again. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, you know what I mean? I don't know. I just, I don't, Denzel and Tom Hanks together, that just sounds awesome, don't it? But I'm really looking forward to seeing this. Before we get to this, I need y'all to do me a favor. I need to hit that like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget that bell notification too, so you know when we're dropping something new. And I want to thank y'all again for recently getting us to 50,000. Don't forget to check us out on Patreon. Over on Patreon, you get early access to all my full length videos. You get exclusive TV shows and movies. <laughs> Was I not supposed to tell them that? And don't forget to check out our merch store. Uh, with all that being said, I'll see you on the other side. Let's get it. This pestilent dust has appeared on only three occasions. Each time it was tested, and the results limestone. It's messy, but innocuous. I mean, he's young as hell in this. Innocuous. Defined by Webster's as harmless. I know what it means. May I? Thank you. I don't know if I like that mustache from things here. It'll take me a minute to get used to that. You've made an articulate and compelling presentation, Mr. Miller, but I don't believe you've proven irreparable harm. Not yet, Your Honor. 942, where's the scene? Justice, no peace. My sons and I went to a restaurant the other day. Man, shut the f up. Andy. Hi, Doc. Man, shut the f up. I'm going to come back in a few minutes and talk to you about it. All right? I'll be right here. How are you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good. Great. Make a fist for me? Oh, man, shut the f up. Patience, Tyrone. Right. Okay. okay. No, oh, man. Hey, and a terrific job in the Kendall situation. Stop nuts, Mr. Becker. Thanks, Kenneth Robert. Oh, this is not going to be good. Hey, Mom. Oh, hi, darling. What a wonderful surprise. How are you? Well, what does Dr. Gilman say? Dr. Gilman says I am fine. My blood work is excellent. Great. Mom, more importantly, how are you? Did he tell the truth? I'm fine. <laughs> How's Dad? Dad is fine. And what are you doing? Oh, I'm already about to cry. Active economic relations, okay. I mean, I'm computer's old as f Highline Incorporated is now represented by Wyant, Wheeler, Hellerman, Tetlow, and Brown. <laughs> and more specifically, senior associate, Andrew Beckett. Oh. Yes! Bravo! That man got hyped, didn't he? What's that in your forehead, pal? Well, where? That right there in your forehead. Oh, oh, I got whacked in the head with a racket ball. Ooh, yeah. excuse me. What is it? Thank you, Charles. No sweat, buddy. No much staff members on leave. Nine days later. What is this just starting on his face? The Highline complaint is right there on my desk, Shelby. It's I don't think you should be smoking that, bro. Okay, now you're going to want to apply this foundation as evenly as you can, mm -hmm. okay? Because you don't want it to look like you threw it on with a spoon. Okay? Yeah. He looks crazy as f Excuse me. What? <laughs> you got to take a <laughs> No. <laughs> 
I don't know, he's throwing up. I, th I, th I think I need, I need to go to the hospital. Antonio Banderas. Hello, hello. Oh. Oh. You got a fever, baby. I, I came that close to not making it into the bathroom, Miguel. I almost lost in front of everybody. So what? It's nothing to be ashamed of, huh? Yeah, it really ain't. It's nothing to be ashamed of. I want to prep you for a colonoscopy. We want to take a look inside. Uh -uh. Well, you need to do this. Who are you? This is my partner. Yeah. He keeps the records of all my hospital visits. It's nothing personal. Listen, I'm trying to help your partner here, okay? Okay. Now, you're not a member of his immediate family. I'm not? I could have you removed from the ER. Really? Look, look, look. He's, he's upset. He's sorry. No, don't apologize for me, okay? Okay, he's, he's not sorry. Let's do this. Um. I will try to give you a specimen. Some hospital food may help. I'm going to ask a question. Everybody happy? All right? Okay. Yeah. All right? I'll get on the lab about the blood work. Then. Are they a couple? If you or someone you know has been injured through the fault of others, you may be entitled to... Oh, Denzel doing commercials. Listen, I just want to let you know we have a minor catastrophe in the making here. It's about that Highline complaint. Jamie is going absolutely ballistic. Uh, calm down. Let's put him on. All right, one second. I told him you were working on it at home and it was supposed to be here this morning. No, 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 no. I, I brought it into the office last night. You got another mark on his neck. I'm telling you, it's not here, Andy. Shelby can't find it either. Jamie, I don't have to remind you, do I, that we are up against a statute of limitations. It runs out in, in 75 minutes. That's a weird way to tell time right there. 75 minutes. It's not here, Andy. Not there. I'm, I'm on my way. Every problem has a solution. Bro, you can't go. Bro, you better stay your sick ass at the hospital. Push. Oh, it's coming. Yeah, 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 yeah baby, it's coming. It's gonna take a picture, John. Try it. I can't get the film in there. They allow you in there with cameras like that? <laughs> oh, look at it. He just had a baby, had to fix the camera. That's hilarious. I don't care how much it costs. Get some nice Dom Perignon. You. How much? Oh, $100? No, don't get any Dom Perignon. Get a nice Californian. You know, Dom Perignon is too much. <laughs> I don't care what it costs. No, no, don't get that. Who's Andrew Beck? There he is. Why? Well, he say Andrew Beckett? Is Tom Hanks calling him? All right, look, I want you to explain this to me like I'm a six-year-old, okay? You decide you must cross the street at this spot, no other. You fall into the hole. Now you want to sue the city for negligence, right? Yes. Do I have a case? That don't make no sense. Yeah, of course you got a case. Great. You take good care of Mr. Finley. I will. Mr. Beckett. Hey, here. thanks a lot. Very good. Thank you very, very much. All right, take here. care. Mr. Beckett! Mr. Beckett, come in. That's a nice old beer he got going on. Good to see you again, Counselor. Judge Tate, Kendall Construction. Innocuous. Yeah. <laughs> How are you? Oh, he just shaved his head. What happened to your face? I have AIDS. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, shut the f up. Can I sit down? Yeah. Thank you. Oh, I thought he had cancer. Oh, look at this. You have a new baby. Yeah, yeah, little baby girl. Oh, it's a girl. Huh? Congratulations. Oh, this is 93, too. He probably like, why is he touching my sh What can I do for you? I've, uh, I've been fired by Wyatt Wheeler. Plan on bringing a wrongful termination suit against Charles Wheeler and his partners. I'm seeking representation. Continue. I misplaced an important complaint. That's their story. Hey. Want to hear mine? How many lawyers you go to before you call me? Nine. Continue. But the next day, I was summoned to a meeting with the managing partners. Oh, hello, Andy. Uh, come on in. Uh, would you mind hitting the windows? Hey. Yeah. yeah. That's dope as uh, Andy, before we begin, uh, I'd just like to say that everyone in this room
is your friend. I know that, Charles. That's how you know it's about to be some bullshit. It's just that uh, something's come over you lately, Andy. I don't know. Some people think you have an attitude problem, Beckett. Really? Who thinks that? I do. Am I being fired? We feel it isn't fair to keep you here when your prospects are limited. The f This is preposterous. It, it, it doesn't make any sense. If you had lost confidence in me, why'd you give me the Highline suit? Andy, you nearly blew the entire case, for Christ's sakes. That alone is inexcusable. So you were concealing your illness? That's correct. All right, explain this to me like I'm a two-year-old, okay? Yeah, God. Didn't you have an obligation to tell your employer you had this dreaded, deadly, infectious disease? And they don't want to fire you for having AIDS, so in spite of your brilliance, they'd make you look incompetent, thus the mysterious lost file. Is that what you're trying to tell me? Correct. I was sabotaged. So how did they find out he had AIDS? I don't buy it, counselor. That's very disappointing. I don't see a case. And that's f***ed up. I have a case. If you don't want it for personal reasons. Thank you, that's correct. I don't. Well, thank you for your time, counselor. <clears throat> Mr. Beck, I'm sorry about what happened to you. It's a bitch, you know? And that's f***ed up. You, you willing to help a motherfucker who purposely walked in a... See, that's, a, that's that boy. Oh man, I did. I really, I really thought he had cancer. I was about to get this bitch boohoo crime. I mean, like AIDS ain't like a prize, but I'm just. Oh man, that is so fucking sad. Now you tell me today, there's no danger. Go home. I pick up my little baby girl, then I find out six months from now on the news or something. Whoops, <laughs> made a mistake. Yeah, you can carry it on your your shirt or your clothes. Or... Listen, just send a bill to my office for me, okay? Ooh. <laughs> like it's crazy that they used to act like this. Actually, I can't. They probably they, they probably still do this back home. All right. Well, hey, I admit it. Okay, I'm prejudiced. I don't like homosexuals. There, you got me. All right. I mean, the way these guys do that thing, don't they get confused? Hey, that about to make me not like Denzel. You can call me old-fashioned. You can call me conservative. <laughs> Just call me a man. Mm. Mm. I hate this. Hey, I'm being totally honest with you, okay? Oh, yeah, you are. All right. Would you accept a client if you were constantly thinking, I don't want this person to touch me, I don't want them to even breathe on me? Not if I was you, honey. That's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know how she can kiss him right now. Like, I'll be disgusted by him. Like, get away from me. Ho, ho, ho! Happy New Year. Oh. You're the uh, the TV, TV guy. guy. He's a prejudiced. That's what he is. I'm telling you, I don't like it. I will never understand black people being prejudiced just because of the that they go through or that we go through. I don't know how you can have the nerve to fix your lips up to say I don't like this person because they're different. I don't know how you can do it. I don't understand it. Sir? This is the supplement. You're right. There is a section on HIV-related discrimination. We do have a private research room available. Like, look how this man's treating him. Wouldn't you be more comfortable in a research room? No. Would it make you more comfortable? Oh, uh, Beckett, how you doing? Counselor. Huh. Look how he f***ing looking at him. Why that f***ing uncalled for? Whatever, sir. You f***ing bitch. What'd you get? <laughs> what? Did you find a lawyer? Uh, I'm a lawyer. He got the nerve to be prejudiced with this old pillowcase rape his ass mustache. Look, I'm, uh... How'd they find out you have the AIDS? 
One of the partners noticed a lesion on my forehead. Shut the f up. I don't know if he's going to get to change the law or if he's going for some money. If he's going for money, he's about to be paid. Hey, man, Tom is running by in this movie. Y'all pieces of shit. Shut the f*** up. They got Dr. J in this bitch. Don't shake your f***ing hand. Very good, very good. Yeah, welcome. Summons for you. Have a good day. Hey, Dr. J, how are you? I love you. See you in court. The TV guy. Yeah, the TV guy. I can't even lie. I, I respect Denzel for that right there. I want to know everything about his personal life. What other homosexual facilities does he go to? Absolutely. What deviant groups or organizations does he secretly belong to? What kind of bull Andrew Beckett proposes to haul me into court to sling accusations at me, to call me a bigot. I hope he take you for every dollar. A jury might decide that he has a case. Wait a minute. He was fired for incompetence, not because he has AIDS. You didn't know he was sick, did you, Bob? Holy shit, did you, Bob? No, no, not, not really. Oh, so they didn't know that he knew. Or is it one of those you know what I'm saying? You ain't no, did you? But either way, f all four of them. F them. And there's going to be publicity. I want to make sure it's okay with everybody. I don't believe there's anything that, that anyone could say that would make us feel anything but incredibly proud of you. I didn't raise my kids to sit in the back of the bus. You get in there and you fight for your rights. They white. They didn't have to. What are you talking about? I mean, I know what she meant, but I'm just saying it was just weird to say that. God, dog, seven months later. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury. How much time has went by in this motherfucker? Andrew Beckett was fired. You'll hear two explanations for why he was fired. Ours and theirs. When they fired Andrew Beckett because he had AIDS, they broke the law. Fact. Andrew Beckett's performance on the job varied. Is that Will Ferrell's mama and stepbrothers? He was successful in his duplicity. The partners at Wyant Wheeler did not know that Andrew Beckett had AIDS when they fired him. You see that evil mother smiling? Andrew Beckett is dying. Andrew Beckett is angry. His reckless behavior has cut short his life. You know, I hope I never go to court for anything. And he wants someone to pay. Cause I, I can't tolerate disrespect. I would have to bring a mouthpiece or something. Something to bite on. Not to say shit out of turn. Because as soon as they can tell lies of me, I'm like, you fucking bitch. You gave sworn testimony in a deposition. Is that correct? That's correct. You said that you were impressed and delighted of Andrew Beckett's work. Do you recall saying that? Why are you looking at them for, bitch? I was delighted with certain aspects of Andy's efforts. In general, I found the work to be merely satisfactory. I think that the jury is entitled to know what powerful force has caused him to change his mind. He hasn't changed his mind. He's amplified his answer. Objection sustained. Oh, the judge on that boy. All right, Mr. Laird, explain this to me like I'm a four-year-old, okay? Hey, I'm about to be on this. Win your lawsuit for you. Yes, we won. Congratulations. That must have been a very satisfactory experience. Hey, people are horrible. Like, why is people like this? All men are created equal, Angela. Give me a goddamn break. 
Like people are f***ing horrible. Like, who? Oh, what? You're not getting a little light in the sneakers, are you, pal? <laughs> See, I will f*** him up. Yeah, I am Phil Coe. I'm, uh, I'm changing. I'm on the prowl. And I'm looking for a hunk, not just any hunk. I mean a man, a real man like you. Knock it off. That's not funny. Let me tell you something. These people make me sick, Phil Coe. But a law's been broken. You remember the law, don't you? At least we agree on one thing, Joe. What's that, Joe? Tutti Fruities make me sick, too. Say, fuck that And I don't, I don't believe he believed that anymore. If he did, he wouldn't, he wouldn't have took this case. How did you contract the AIDS virus? Through a transfusion. So in other words, in your case, there was no behavior on your part which caused you to be infected with the virus? I don't consider myself any different from anyone else with this disease. Thank you. I'm not guilty. I'm not innocent. I'm just trying to survive. I'm t hey, man. Well, he was getting thinner, and he seemed very tired sometimes. Still, I felt something was wrong, and I can't believe that they're trying to pretend that they didn't notice anything. Objection. <laughs> just answer the question, please. Hey, man, f*** the judge, man. But f*** that whole table. How's the trial going? Excuse me? It's a great case. I saw you on television. I'm a law student at Penn. Oh. How you doing? All right. How are you? All right. You saw me on TV. Yeah. <laughs> Would you like to have a drink with me? I just finished a game, and I could use a beer, you know? I don't pick up people in drugstores every day. I knew it. That's funny as hell. What, you think I'm gay? Huh? Aren't you? What's the matter with you? I look gay to you? Do I look gay to you? I mean... Relax. No, what do you mean relax? You know how to kick your little ass? Take it as a compliment. Jeez. <laughs> you know, that is exactly the kind of bullshit that makes people hate you a little. <laughs> you want to try and kick my ass, Joe? Asshole. No, you're the asshole, buddy. <laughs> hey, he was real calm about that, though. So that lets me know, old dude with the football, he got hands. Because he was way too calm about this And Mr. Beckett just kept saying, I'm sorry. May I? Certainly. They said about to go up there on that pimp <laughs> Was Andy a good boss? Yes. He was very sweet. And I guess I was wrong. I guess he did mean that early when he said that at the bar. Did you have something to do with this uh, file being lost accidentally on purpose? Objection. Did you have anything to do with this file being misplaced? Absolutely not. Are you a homosexual? What? Are you a homosexual? Answer the question. Are you a homo? Are you a, you know, a punk oh. queen? Yeah, don't. Could you kindly share with me exactly what's going on inside your head? Because at this moment, I don't have a clue. Yeah. Let's get it out of the closet. Because this case is not just about AIDS, is it? So let's talk about what this case is really all about. Our loathing, our fear of homosexuals. Huh. Okay, that makes sense. Because, hey, because listen. I didn't know what the f*** he was doing. Very good. Mr. Miller, justice is blind to matters of race, creed. Is it? Religion and sexual orientation. Are you sure? You had one guy like that. You, you mean a homosexual? He uh, strutted around quarters naked, trying to get everybody to notice him. Made everyone sick. So we let him know this kind of behavior was not acceptable. How'd you do that? What'd you, you wrote him a letter? We stuck his head in a latrine after 10 of us had used it. Oh, you taught him a lesson, didn't you? Listen, y'all would have to kill me if y'all ever done me like that. I felt, and I still feel nothing, but the deepest sympathy and compassion for people like Melissa who contracted this terrible disease through no fault of their own. People are so nasty, man. But I'm telling you, if you was to ever try to put my head in some motherfucking piss, what, they, after 10 of them, listen, they'd have woke up and be like, where's the crew? Crew's dead. We may have to flush it out again. Veins closed. We've got a cold bottle. They go, what? Look, 
I've... There's, there's so much stuff that I need to get done. Can we just skip the treatment for tonight? No, we, are, we are not escaping this treatment. Close the law book. You just... Huh? Hey, I don't give a f Antonio, Antonio Burns losing his is top five things ever. You are worried. We don't have very much time left now, aren't you? No. No. I'm going to start planning my memorial service. I'm going to start preparing for the inevitable. Maybe you should think about it. No. 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 Hey, this movie got my feelings. What is she? Uh, so you like it? I'm a, I'm a lawsuit. You get it? I'm a lawsuit. It's not lawsuit. bad. Lawsuit. It's not bad. Lawsuit. It's not bad. That is trash. That is absolute trash. Congratulations, counselor. Congratulations. You survived what I assume to be your first gay party intact. As a kid, you're taught that it's so funny, that they're afraid to fight, that they're a danger to little kids, and that all they want to do is to get into your pants. I did not grow up like that. Mom, thank you for not teaching me that. Thank you. I appreciate that. Do you ever pray? Yes, I pray. What do you pray for? I don't know. I pray that my baby is healthy. I pray that the Phillies win the pennant. <laughs> I thought he was going to say some deep shit. That was going to say the Phillies with the pendant. There's a possibility I won't be around to see the end of this trial. Do you mind this music? Do you like opera? I am not that familiar with opera, Andrew. Oh, this is my favorite aria. I love the fact that Ben was really trying to do, like, important shit. And my man's just having a casual conversation. I love it. This is Madalena. Dude, there's no way you could represent this man and see that he's a living, breathing person. That he's a good dude and still feel the way you feel about gay people. It's no way. Oh, all that single cello. I love how you describe the music. And that fire in the background, hey, beautiful. A, a voice filled with harmony. It said, live still. I am life. He is killing this shit. Oh, definitely. I like that shot. He understands. He understands. Look, stank face. I know he ain't the one saying it, but the stank face. That's how you know it's certified. Jeez, I, I better get out of here. I'll look over the, the Q&A. No, you're ready. You're ready. That's a pivotal moment in this movie. Is he listening to it? Or is this the background? Hey, sing it. I still ain't used to this mustache. What do you love about the law, Andrew? Is that every now and again, not often, you get to be a part of justice being done. That really is quite a thrill when that happens. I like that answer. Do you take risks? In my work, yes, calculated risks. You have to. Have you ever been to the Stallion Showcase Cinema on 21st Street? The what? I've been to that theater three times. What kind of movies do they show there? 
gay movies. Objection, Your Honor. Your Honor, this line of questioning is vital to the issue of credibility. Let's, uh, let's see where this is going. I don't like the f***ing judge, man. Have you ever had sex with anyone in that theater? Yes. Once. Approximately what year did that event take place? In 84, 85. Do you need a break, Mr. Beckett? At least she's decent. As a homosexual, one is often forced to conceal one's sexuality. They keep showing this old man. Is this old man gay? They focus in on him probably like six times. You've testified that the lesions on your face were visible to the people that you worked with, correct? That's right. Hey, he's starting to look bad, man. Do you have any lesions on your face at this time? At the time I was fired, I had four lesions, and they were much bigger. I think this would be a good time to break for the day. We can reconvene in the morning. I hate this case. Oh, so she is a decent person. Uh, Your Honor, may I have uh, five minutes and redirect? Can you go on for five minutes? Do you have any lesions on any part of your body at this time that resemble the lesions you had on your face at the time that you were fired? On my tor torso. I'll allow it. Mr. Beckett, would you please remove your shirt? I'm surprised he allowed it. I haven't liked this judge this whole time. Man, he looked bad. He looked like he ain't gonna make it. My God, what a nightmare. He asked for it. Like, they all know it's wrong, but that one dude is a dickhead. And it's so fing sad, man. It's sad somebody has to go through this. Andrew, can you see the lesions on your chest? in this mirror. Yes. Thank you. Do you swear to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth shall help you, God? I do. Did you fire Andrew Beckett because he had AIDS? No, I did not fire Andrew Beckett because he had AIDS. Keep looking down when you say it. And Andy was tremendously promising as a young attorney. That's why we went after him. That's why we hired him. And why did you give him opportunity after opportunity? Oh my God, he looks so bad, man. You made quite an investment. We were waiting for the promise to kick in and deliver. But uh, ultimately, we could no longer ignore the gap between the reality and the promise. What was Andy's court record? Objection. Your Honor, objection. All right, Mr. Miller. Mr. Wheeler, you are magnificent. You are my hero. Andrew is right. You are the greatest. Isn't it true that when you realized Andrew Beckett, your golden boy, was gay and had AIDS, it drove a stake of fear right through your heterosexual heart? The friendly pats on the backside that you and Andrew exchange, ah! like guys exchange sometimes. And Andrew, he needs help. Excuse me. I Oh. Right, say somebody get a doctor. Oh, he's died. Did you notice any changes whatsoever in Andrew's appearance over the course of the year leading up to his termination? Yes. Oh my God, he's died. The fact that they gave him the most important lawsuit that they ever had. Now, they say that that doesn't prove anything because that was just a test yeah. to see if he would rise to the occasion. Okay, okay, so. Why do he look familiar? Would somebody please explain it to me? Like I'm a six-year-old? <laughs> Turn number six. Hey, I told you, I'm about to be on that. Have you awarded any damages? Yes, Your Honor, we have. Back pay and loss of benefits, we award $143,000. Mental anguish and humiliation, we award $100,000. Punitive damages, we award $4,782,000. You may record the verdict. How did they do that? This trial is now concluded. 
Let's go. Strain ourselves getting a reversal on this one. We'll get started in the morning. Yeah, y'all bitches get every one of y'all. I hope y'all get butt by bass in him. Thanks a lot. I'll see you at the hospital. Okay. Oh no, we not going to the hospital. I don't want to do that. No. He's lost the vision in his right eye. Oh. He will not regain his vision. Shut the f up. They say he lost vision in his right eye. Hey, Joe. Hi. You brought some, uh... Oh, wonderful. Cheese and... Shut the f up. He didn't buy it early, but he bought it now. I mean, he looks so f***ing bad, man. How you doing? What do you call a thousand lawyers? The chain you gather at the bottom of the ocean. I don't know. A good start. <laughs> I mean, he looks so f***ing bad, dude. Excellent work, counselor. It was great working with you. Sure thing. See you later. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you again. Oh. You look so bad. I'll see you tomorrow, buddy, okay? Is he gonna make it to tomorrow? <laughs> hey, man, don't do that, shit, man. He kind of looked like Tom Hanks. Good night, my angel. Mm. My sweet boy. Mm. I can't even look at him. Well, I really ain't trying to ugly cry. Shut the f up. Hello? Joe is Miguel. Oh. oh, shut the f up. <laughs> this gotta be the reception. The wake or something, because they're not dressed for a funeral. I couldn't do it. Don't turn your back on me. Like, I couldn't, like. If I care about you, you just passed away. I can't sit around and watch videos of you. I just, I couldn't. Like, this movie's so sad, man. I, he fought so many battles. Look at that baby's hair. Alright. Alright. We just watched Fatal Death yeah? And, um... That's really a hard movie to watch. I hate to see people get shitted on because they're different. Especially when it's people who are supposed to be their friend. You don't just hug anybody. You know what I mean? Like they had a bond. And then they did him like that. And that's just, that's super shitty, man. I hate to see it. I hate to fucking see it. It pisses me off so bad. You know what I'm saying? Because I've been done like that before in life. You know what I'm saying? I just don't understand prejudice 
the racism shit. I don't. I just don't. I don't get. That. I would never understand. I don't understand how you can look at somebody else and be like, "I hate you," and I'm gonna mistreat you because you're different than me. I don't understand the treating of people less than a human being. I don't. I don't get it. And like it, it bothered me as much that Denzel's character acted like that. It bothered me more that Denzel acted like that than the people that was his so-called friends. Because like I said, in reaction, I don't understand how anybody black or of color could look at anybody that's different from them and be like, I don't like you because you're different. At least any of us that's in America. You know what I'm saying? I just, I don't, I don't, I don't. I don't, I don't understand. I would never understand it. So he had to deal with that. Then he had AIDS. He had AIDS in a time where they really didn't know much about AIDS. So they really treated him like shit. Shouldn't nobody have to go through that. And I ain't gonna lie to you. When I first seen him in the beginning of the movie, I thought he had cancer. And there was no way. I probably I probably would have had to stop this and finish it tomorrow. This was about cancer. It's crazy because he was such a good dude and he was so good to everybody around him. I know this movie covered a lot of time. Like it did a lot of time jumping and stuff like that. And um I think this told a beautiful story. Me personally, I feel like if it happened, I didn't see it. I felt like that's something they could they missed out on showing. It showed Tom Hanks and Antonio Burris as a couple. They really only had two real intimate moments in this. When they was dancing, and at the very end, when he was kissing his hand. I don't I don't know if they didn't show them kissing because of the age thing. But I felt like if they showed them kissing, a little thing of intimacy they could have showed. I do believe that Denzel's character is no longer the way he was at the start of the movie, by the end of the movie. I feel like when he was in there, when he listened to the opera music and he was explaining to him, I I figured I felt like that was a turning point in Denzel's thought process. I love the fact that they showed the lady attorney, even though she was like pressing doing her job. I do love the fact that they showed that under her breath that she said she hated this case. I can't see you. They can't see you. I like this movie a lot. I'm glad it did not make me boohoo cry. Because I was not trying to ugly cry. I wasn't. This is a good watch, but this definitely is a hard watch. It shows the ugly side of people. And I, and I hate that shit. I don't know. I'm weird. Like, I want everybody to be happy. Like, I want everybody to respect everybody. I'm a peaceful smoke breaker. <laughs> I hope y'all enjoy watching this with me. I enjoy watching with y'all. If you didn't do it for me earlier, please do it for me now. Please like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. Um, Don't forget to check us out on Patreon. Speaking of Patreon, I'm going to give a shout out to the VIPs. I'm going to give a shout out to Leslie, Trey, Ty Harold, Becca June, the beautiful doll Missy, Big Al, Robin, Big Frank, Crow Crow, Cody Stoudemire, Paul Sawicki, Frost1997, Anna Rondo, Jeff Jernigan, Adam, Grady B. Olsen, Red Hill C, TJ Giggler, Thomas, the Brandis, Garrett, Elizabeth Esposito, Nicholas Jenkins, Super Nobody, Rachel Martinez, Jennifer Natley, BB98, Chris, Nyreen, Nick, Cult Movies at Midnight, Jamie Gibson, Miguel Brooks, Caleb, Steve McCluso, Echo, Peanut, Sammy, Zachary, Jonathan Patrick, 
Ron, Rocket, Beardo, Blackbeard, Bob, Hot Indie Media, Amen Locke, Jake Stimson, Banan Boar, Jake Flogging, Tony A. Aragon, Captain Roberts, Dom, LeVar Hawkins, Show, Colin LaShore, Jason, Harley Smith, Brad Williams, and Rick. Thank y'all for being VIPs. I want to thank everybody else for being part of the family as well. I tell you all the time, y'all the best part of this channel. I mean that with everything in me. We appreciate it more than y'all ever know. I just seen a comment a minute ago <laughs> that said, who the hell is Sean? Sean is our graphic designer. He makes the thumbnails and the little posts and stuff that y'all love. That's Sean. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's our dude. You know what I'm saying? Show our, show our man some love. I'm going to get off here and let these babies outside. So y'all be good. Y'all be safe. Night, night.